Hi everyone! So today I have a brand new Your Creative Studio box that I want to open. I have not opened this box. It just came. I'm pretty excited to be getting these boxes, I've got to say. They're pretty cool. So, ooh, maybe this is a little indication about what this one is. I like this. Fairies. I wonder if we're going to see fairy theme. How it looks like it. Oh, these look like bigger. This looks like bigger or something. Bigger stamps, maybe? Um, I hope you guys can see well. I think so. I've got a little doily under here today. I thought that that would be a nice looking background for us. All right, so I'm just going to kind of pull this up. All right, let's kind of, I don't want to, this is a really cute little sticker too with the little, you can see the little fairies on there. I really think that this is all fairy theme this time, which would be so cute. I picked up a fairy book at my local shop, like a thrift shop. It is, it's awesome. It's really cute. They've got good quality washi tape from your creative studio. I really like it. Oh, look at them. They're all different. Oh, that's really nice. I'm liking this. Oh, wow. I see at least, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Whoop. Yeah, it's, it's very sticky. Okay. Wow. That's a lot. Okay. I, um, hmm. since I've ripped that, I guess we're going to just pull out this journal that I was going to share with you guys in a minute. And I'm going to put it in here now because I have it stuck to my finger and it ripped off. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know what to do with it now. Now that I've got it here. Um, I don't know. Let's pop it somewhere, huh? I guess we're going to put it down like, it is very sticky, I'm not going to lie. I really wanted a page that didn't have much going on, but this journal has a lot going on on mostly all of the pages that we got. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then, I just want to, I don't know, tear it maybe, right there. Nice and even if I can, okay. Mm, I lost my paper clip, okay. Alright, I really just, oh my goodness, oh my goodness gracious, I really wanted this to all be... Okay, we're just going to put that over here. Okay, and the washi, the last piece of washi. Okay, it's just going to go there. Okay, it's very nice washi. Now I've made kind of a mess of it, I guess, with this whole ordeal, didn't I? Mm-hmm. I really did. I really, really did. Because now I've got, like, oh, part of it is, like, see how thick it is? It's almost, like, multi-layered Thickness. It is good washi tape. It really is. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of washi tape that's super thick like this. I really don't. That's a nice washi tape. And like I said in my last, well, my first Your Creative Studio unboxing, which is my last video about it, 
Um, because this is only my second box. This is pretty nice, thick washi tape, but I don't have a ton of good washi tapes to compare it to. Um, okay, let's go into this. Cling stamp. Ooh. I like the stamps. They seem like really good quality, and I think that I'm just going to be using them, like, by themselves this time. Like, just like this, because they're pretty nice, thick durable feeling things. Can you guys see that? That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. The two little fairies sitting together with like, I don't know, a basket of flowers. That's cute. Okay. I like that. Daily things. Oh, this is cute. I don't know what this is. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's like a mini book of a washi ledger. <laughs> oh, that's cute. But it's not, not washi. Um, no, what's the word I'm thinking of? Oh. Uh, vellum. Vellum. That is what it is. Yeah, because it's totally transparent. So, like, I could put this behind... And you still see her. Or him. That's a that's a him. That's a boy fairy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Do I? It's early in the day and it feels like a long day already. It really does. It's just been kind of one of those days. You know? It really has been. Okay, this is another cling stamp. This one is wood mounted. Oh, I really like her. She's pretty. <clears throat> Oh, she's very pretty. She's very pretty. Look at all the flowers around her, and she's carrying flowers, and she's in a flower dress. That's very pretty. I like that one. Very nice stamp. I like how the stamps actually have, like, a mini little picture on there, too. Oh, another stamp. Oh, we actually are getting another stamp, too? That's cool. Okay. I can't really tell what this one is. Oh, okay. This one. This one is like a little boy fairy. And he's like hiding under this big, huge flower. Kind of. Kind of deal. I like that. I like that one also. That one's very nice. They're nice. Nice quality. Wood mounted. Oh, that's... This is nice. Wow, this is like all fairy themed. This is pretty cool. Oh, these ones are like all fairy themed. This is nice. I like this. Okay, so this, what is this? This is just paper, I think. Is it? Okay, this actually says Your Creative Studio. So this must be one of those special things that, like, Your Creative Studio makes to have as just their own special thing. Like, they made it specifically curated for the box, which is really cool. And there's, like, several pictures. The, the little boy that's on the front <clears throat> card and then this little girl actually come to think of it I think this is actually I think there's some of the some of the fairies that are in the pictures yeah she was in the picture on, um, on the washi. Yep. Which is really cool. So it looks like there's about three, I think three different, different, um, prints. Yeah. It's very nice. Very nice quality paper. It's nice and thick. And I would say that's probably three inches by four inches, maybe, or 
three by five. It looks more like a three by five. Three by, yeah, let's see, three by five. Okay, these are cool stickers. They kind of look like transparent a little bit. Kind of like maybe, um, almost like a washi sticker. Yeah, I think they're kind of like a washi sticker. But that's really cool too because they're, again, they're like the same type of fairies. So that's really nice. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like we've got like a whole bunch of different pieces. Let's check it out. Let's see what we've got in here, huh? Okay, so we got, ooh, okay, these are stickers. These are definitely stickers. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that would be so nice to use, like, in collaging. It's so fast to collage with things like that. No glue or any mess needed. Like, you just use them. Bird. This would be really nice for, like, shabby chic journal. Um, If you're doing, like, vintage... Yeah, vintage. Look at that. Vintage. Yes, it is too. This is perfect. It would it would go really well in the journal I just did, actually. Flowers, just flower cutouts. Those are really pretty. I like that. I like that a lot. That botanical rose. Very pretty. Lily. Very pretty. There's some more lilies, I think, and there's a rose. Okay, there's some uh, mushrooms, some more mushrooms. I like mushrooms for my grimoire-style journals. These are all stickers. All these little pieces, even these little bits here that are like a dictionary word or something. Figure one. Oh, and then this is like in Dutch. I think. Uh, possibly German. I don't know. I, I'm not good with other languages because I only know English. This looks like Arabic or something, though. Um, I only know because I've got, like, different different books with old text and stuff that I use. So that's the only way I know. But all of these, I mean, these are mushrooms, more mushrooms, old telegram ones... Not real old ones, but like old looking. This is cool. Oh, we got a little sticky bugger. A sticky bugger. That's okay. That'll just go. Whoop. That'll just go underneath. Okay, then these ones here, those are like paper. It's like paper. Nice thin paper, too, so that you could collage up a lot of things on it. See, then there's these are just like little... That's still those stickers. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of these. A little cutting board with, like, words and a flower. Lots of mushrooms. I really like that. I like all of the botanical things. That looks like map. This is like a label. But then they added like some pine cones that could be used for winter. Or like outdoorsy. <coughs> yeah. Alright. Cool. I like all of the stickers. There's a lot of them there. It's got to be 30 or 40. Then we have these. This one, which I ripped because I got a sticker stuck. Okay, these are plain paper. And then we go into, like, again with the vellum. This is, like, vellum. You can see my fingers under these. I got four sheets of those. Oh, five. There's a rose. 
There's another type of flower. What's that? We've got now six, two, four, six, seven, another rose one, seven. And we've got one, two, three, some daisies, four, five, six. Those two are the same. If you wanted to do like a double page spread on a journal and have like matching pockets, you could turn these into a pocket, back them um, with something. It'd be really nice. I really like the colors of these, that dusty purple. And I like vellum because the printing is like the same on the front and back. That's pretty cool. It's nice for um, collaging or using like as a little window in there and stuff. So that's cool. Okay, nice. I like that. Oh, what is this? This is cute and different. I don't really know if I have anything quite this size. Oh, they're all this. Oh, these are just little like rip apart tags. Oh, I like that. Perforated. Yeah. That's nice. Cinnamon gel. Dr. Bloomer's high grade flavoring extracts. 10% alcohol for flavoring. Ice cream, jellies, cakes, pies, etc. Hmm. You get a lot. Okay. I think 30. 30 of them. 30 sheets. Yeah. Cool. They're cool. I like them. I like them a lot. They are really nice. I like that size. They're really nice to stick in like a pocket. Stuff like that. I really like things like that for pockets in journals. Or to add again to like collaging. Oh, this goes in this little pouch. I like everything in this little pouch until I really start to use it. Because it just keeps it from getting out of its container and spilling all over my areas. Okay. Ooh, more fairy stuff. I like the shape of this, whatever these are. I think they're tags. I really like the shape of them, though. Are we still rolling? On the film? Okay. Oh, how are they on there? Oh, they're just really wrapped on there somehow. Okay. Are they, I don't know if they're all the same or if they're different. I can't get them out. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna get this. Hang on. Hang tight, folks. It's happening. They're like tickets. Oh, I like the feel of them. They're nice. They're nice, thick, heavy. Oh, yeah. They're pretty. Oh, she's such a pretty fairy. I, oh, sorry. Sorry, bang the camera. I don't know what she's doing. She's looking at her little crystal ball or something. There's got to be 30 of them because I counted up to about 23. And they're all the same. They're all that same fairy image, but she's beautiful. That's perfect because we didn't get any of her in this notepad. So that's really cool that she came in here because I really like her. She's like a little bit older of a looking older looking of a fairy too, you know, like if you wanted to do like, you know, for a woman, a woman's journal instead of like a whimsical, I mean, not that you can't have little child fairies for a woman's journal, I'm not saying that, but um, if you wanted to do like a woman's journal with more adult looking fairies, she would be really good to put some pieces 
with her in there. Ooh. This has some Alice. This is cool. This is very neat. Oh, what are these? Flora Studio stickers. I don't know if these are actually stickers, though. Are they stickers? I don't know if they actually are stickers. I don't think they are. They don't particularly feel like stickers. Maybe. You know what, though? I think they are. Oh, they are. They're just like really nice feeling paper, but they are a sticker. But they're they're very matte. Very matte feeling. Okay, so this is really cool because then you just, okay, they're like sheets. So then you would just, I guess you, what you do is just, if I wanted this Alice one for like a piece of my Alice journal, I have some Alice journals that I just did recently. So if I wanted like that to put up in the corner of a journal, I guess I would just do that and then peel that away. And I could ink around it if I wanted and then just stick it there. That's pretty cool. And it's got Alice and the Cheshire Cat. That's neat. That's really neat, actually. These are like, they're almost like a wraparound. That's cool. You could just cut out the one little thing or rip out the one little thing and put it on something. They look like real stamps. Scans of real stamps. Old. I don't know if that's newspaper or advertising. I like this. I don't really have anything like this. That's why I'm, I'm going to continue to get the Your Creative Studio box because I don't have anything like this and I feel like it's a good value and I really like the quality of the stuff that I've been getting. This is neat. And then that map one. The whole thing would look really cool on something. These, I like that these are all different. You know, you've got some that could be for an Alice book or you've got some that could be for the holidays. I like a whole page for, like, these could be for Christmas, they could be for, the, the vintage could just be for anything. They could be for Easter, um, Valentine's Day. Just any day. They could just be in a vintage journal. Not even holiday related. Yeah, okay. So I think that there's about ten of them. I'm sorry, I went through them like twice, but I really like them. Quite a lot, actually. They're nice. Okay. And then I think we're about at the end of it, guys. I like this box. This one was really quite nice. I like it a lot. <clears throat> These are papers. They may be sticker papers. We got five. Yep, five, like last time. I like the quality of these. They, The prints that they give to, they remind me just of like something that I would get from like Tim Holtz stuff. And I don't know if these ones are stickers or if these are regular papers. <laughs> I'm probably just destroying my paper corner. I am. I really am. That's not a sticker. Okay, just so if anybody was wondering, I just really I don't think that's a sticker. I'm pretty sure that I'm ruining the corner of my paper. That's just plain paper. If you were wondering, I ruined that nice pretty black one that I really like. Okay, no, I didn't really. I'm just going to glue it back down and it's going to be great. Okay. Alright, so there's that one. With those pretty, I don't know what those are, magnolias, they could be. Who knows? I don't know. It's probably not. Orchids. I don't know what they are. They're not roses. Um, these, I think they are roses. They are roses. 
Oh, those are roses. Those are definitely roses. Roses all day long. Those are roses too. Oh my gosh. I'm not, I'm getting it with the roses. I know the roses. I do. Those are roses and something. Mm, who knows? I don't know. My mother would be so devastated that I don't know the names of my flowers. I feel like this box was very worth it. I do. I do. I got, you know, a nice variety of things. I really like these little fairy guys. All the little fairy things that are in here are, like, really cool. Because I will, I will definitely use them. Definitely will use all of the little fairy things. I will. I've got this fairy book I'll show you guys. Hang on. Did have a fairy book. Oops. Oh, now I can't find it anywhere. Nope. Oh, I can't find my fairy book for anything. Okay. Never mind. Never mind that. There's no fairy book. No fairy book to be found. I do have a fairy book somewhere. I do. I definitely. I definitely, definitely have a fairy book. Like, I have this. And this is cool because she looks like a fairy, right? The fairy discovered a land of treasures beneath a little girl's bed. Okay, this one is about fairies. So, this would go with it well, but this is not the book that I'm talking about. I have another one as well. I've already pulled pictures out of that one for a few other drawings, but I don't know where the fairy book is that I'm looking for. Anyway, hmm, I guess we're not finding the fairy book right this minute. Okay, that's fine. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Your Creative Studio unboxing. Um. I wanted to show you quickly this journal that I have made. Um, so, it goes like this. Can you see well? Just if you want to stick around and watch this, then that's cool. If not, that's fine too. So the journal is like this, and then you tie it here. It's got a couple of charms. You would tie it like this. I had to open it to use that washi tape that I had stuck on my finger. Um, so, it's like this. The signatures are not sewn in. They're tied because that's just the look that I wanted. Because it's sort of like a folio style journal. And then it's just got artful. It's a Tim Holtz token and then just a butterfly. So then you untie it and open it up. And then it's like this. So then you have all this goodness here. And these are pockets with real vintage Russian postage. I don't know. I'm not sure what this one is. I don't know if that's like a real one. That was in the postage collection that I had gotten from my dad's antique shop. And this one too. 
Um, so there are those. This is a vintage playing card. Um, so there's that. Those little pockets are here. There's a double eyelet here that's for the closure, so just watch out when you're putting anything in there. I collaged a bit right on the front there. This little paper clip just kind of holds in the vintage photo, and this little, this is just a piece of a book page. I liked that. I liked that flower image to go in there. This is just a journaling card. There's another one of those vintage um, stamps. So I'm just going to kind of flip through it quickly because I've got to go and pick up my boys from school soon. So most of this is all vintage, like vintage gardening book. This is from like 1930, the music sheet, coffee dyed pages, old book pages, lace dyed coffee pages I did. That's the bottom of a brown paper bag that I like sewed over to make it look kind of neat. And then I did a little bit of uh, some ephemera and a sticker. This is a cool page from a Teddy Roosevelt book that is super old. I don't know how old. I couldn't find a date on it. But it's about how the teddy bears were invented. And it was... I paid like $5 for the book at a antique sale and the pages are like really old and thick, but they're fragile. So, um, I just wanted to put one of those pages in there because it's really neat to look back and see kind of just a part of history there. This is just a scrapbook paper. I like the, the look that it adds. And then over the wood page, I put a mushroom sticker. This is out of a 1960 catalog. Um, Spiegel, I believe it is. It was a holiday catalog. This is a little thing. I did some stamping, some collaging, and stuck the blank postcard in there for you. Here we go. I don't know if I can get that bad boy in there. Alright, you know. Hmm. Okay. Wow. There. Okay. It wants to go back to its home. It does. I tied this little guy in there. It's just got the 10 pages of some different papers that are coffee dyed, tea dyed, different weights. This is another pocket that you can stick stuff in up under there. There's some fabric like glued on there. This is a cool um, pin. Not not pin. What is it? One of those little guys. This is an old postcard that I have included. It's an unused postcard. And I don't see a date on it. So I got a collection of them and they were all from about, um, 1940s to 1960s, so it's somewhere in that time frame. This is a little collage I did, and I sewed over it. Um, here we put down a piece of lace that I dyed pink. Um, there's another vintage postcard, unused again. You could actually use these postcards because, you know, they're new and unused, but vintage. Uh, here is a picture of a little girl. It's a very old picture. I just thought she was adorable and she goes in this book very well. A little piece of vintage looking ephemera, but it is just Tim Holtz ephemera. 
1901 map. It was my grandfather's. This is a real ledger from uh, 1899, I believe that one was. This is vintage wallpaper from Tim Holtz. And then just, there's our fairy washi tape. It looks good there. <laughs> then he had to hustle along. We have to hustle along. This has been a long video. Uh, here we go. There's some little things. Um, with a brad there. We've got some vintage ephemera. 1875. This is from a little agenda journal thing. Unused. Also from my father's antique shop. I wanted to include a couple pieces in there for you guys. This is from my last month's Your Creative Studio box. I just sewed that onto the page because I thought it looked cool there. Um, here are some little pieces of negative photos. This, I just put this little bird here because I thought he looked cool on the Carte Postel. Okay, you can do whatever you want with them. But that's where I put them. There's another little transparent sticker that I got from AliExpress. There's a reprint of a one of those cards they used to give to advertise their businesses. This is a vintage piece that I got out of a book. I am not sure when it's from. But it's pretty old. It was in an old gardening book. I just stuck it in there for you guys. I don't know how old it is. A sticker. A cute little piece I put on there. A tuck spot. A cute little hiding writing spot. More like not a tuck spot. But the birds were cute. I wanted to put them there. I thought they went well with the mountains. Just put the birds with the mountains. You know, because they look nice there. Here's an empty little guy. That's a nice vintage piece. Here's a couple of more vintage pieces. This is kind of interesting, the female trouble and months in the hospital. Um, you can read through those. Again, those are from like the late, late 1800s or early 1900s. Then what this does is this folds this way. I might do something else here. I'm not sure. It is quite full though. It's really to about the point that I want it to be as far as like stuffing it goes. Um, then here, am I still in frame? Because it gets kind of wide. This is probably, you know, 15 inches wide now. With how it goes up. I made this little charm. It's got some glass beads and a little pegasus on the paper clip. And then this is just a simple little swinging brad charm that goes on the middle section of the envelope file folder fold away thing. This is an empty little, uh, what do you call it? Envelope. I know my words, I do. Truly I do. Okay. More writing space. Just some funky little, you know, Writing spaces. Put them in there. And then bop this guy right around there, like that. You could put anything in here. This is this file folder is just glued on there, and then it's like a double pocket really because there's the space from the file folder in here. But then there's also this space 
right here. So it's like two pockets. So I just kind of stuck this bird envelope in there that I had to refold several times for some reason because I forgot how to make a simple envelope one day. I don't know why. I don't know why these things happen to my brain sometimes. It's horrible, horrible affliction. This is from Dollywood. I love Dolly Parton. I don't know why. I really do love her. No, she's just awesome. Um, this came... I mean, I do know why, because she's awesome. Um, but I mean, like, I've never... I She's totally, like, like, I'm 33. I, I missed the era of, like, the Dolly Parton craze and stuff. I mean, that's why I said I don't know why. Like, I, I missed that, really. But, um, uh, and I've never been to, like, Dollywood. So... You know, there's that. But this is really interesting. This is, like, the whole thing of, like, her place. Her Dollywood. So I'm including this because this came in a cool collection that I found. The, the vintage collection with all the postcards. This came with that. And it's just got some really beautiful imagery. And you could cut them apart and use them in here. You could gift that to somebody. You could turn those into the fronts of greeting cards. You could do whatever you wanted with that. Um, and then there's this last part where this part flips up. And then I've just included like these little things. I just thought that this is so cool. This is just such a cool castle. Cathedral. It's a cathedral. It's not a castle. Just so that turret is amazing. Um, and then I've inked around these three. And they went with the theme of the birds and the flowers. So I threw them in there. And that is this. I'm making a closure for this before. Probably one of those Thai ones or one of the ones with the brad. I will do that before this gets sent out. And then there's a little pocket over here, too, with a couple of little things. So, that is my little folio that I wanted to share with you guys. This is one of my favorite journals that I've ever made. It really is. I don't know if it's... It's just it's the feeling of it. It's all of these things. It's the different ways that this could stack in here. Like, it's perfect. It's really cool. It It is a nice journal. It's nice. It's really nice. You could have those two just be on top of that last envelope one, or you could have the envelope one be in the middle. I don't know. It's just, I really like the feeling of it. It's got a great feeling. I'm in the middle of making two more. They look a bit different. Very similar, but a bit different. They've got a bit more sewing on the outside. I don't know. I really like it. I really like it. I really like the feeling of it. The look of it. This is all sorry silk. So, that is that journal. And I hope that you liked the Your Creative Studio box. I'm definitely ordering a November one now. Um, yeah, again, I got mine. It's the 18th of October now, so... I got, I ordered it on the 18th of September, and I got it on the 18th of October. So, but last month, I ordered it on the 1st of September, and I got it on the 18th of September, and I am in New York. So, I don't think that it matters, like, when you order it. It just depends on where you are in the country, or where you are located. You know. Um, I think that that part matters. Anyway. I hope that this video has been helpful. Or interesting. Or fun. Or something. For somebody out there. If it has been. Please give this video a thumbs up. Um, yeah. Hopefully I'll be back with some more interesting videos. 
thanks so much for stopping by. Bye!